What's up, everybody, and welcome to Monday Night Raw. We're coming at you from Detroit, Michigan, and it's sure to be a great show here tonight. I'm one of your commentators, Joshua Wojcik, a.k.a. Hex Phenom, and as you can tell, Tyler is not here today. Uh, we have sent him on a well-earned vacation for his birthday uh, after the events of Judgment Day last night. So Tyler is off celebrating his birthday, and we'll check in with him in just a second. But, guys, let me tell you about some of the matches we've got going on tonight on Monday Night Raw. First up, we have Damian Priest, your new World Heavyweight Champion, issuing an open challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship here tonight. Damian Priest said he wants to be a fighting champion, and he plans to do open challenges pretty often. So, we'll see who answers the challenge here tonight. We've also got Finn Balor taking on King Nakamura, which is sure to be a good match. And finally, in your main event, Edge is going to be taking on the one and only Ricochet. But before we get into your first matchup, let's hear from Tyler. He made a little video for us on his vacation, so let's see what he had to say. Mm, phenom fam. What's going on, guys? Now, as Josh just broke the news to you, that is right. I am not there tonight for Raw. I will not be there for SmackDown either. I don't know if he broke that news to you, but, you know, it is what it is. I am on a well-deserved vacation. I needed a vacation from that neek and poop at the commentary desk. You can only take so much of that guy, am I right? But fear not, guys. I'm going to be off this week. You won't see me tonight other than this. You won't see me at SmackDown other than this, of course. I'll give you guys an update then. But next week at Raw, I will be back so you just gotta you gotta bear with tonight's show i know it's gonna be terrible because i'm not there i know you guys love me i know you know i'm the best commentator but i miss you guys obviously you guys are gonna miss me i am sorry you gotta deal with that nincompoop but but i still want you guys to enjoy the show so you guys enjoy the show i'm gonna enjoy my well-deserved vacation and i will see you guys next week man even when he's not here, he still has to call me names, huh? <sighs> All right, well, um, let's get into your opening matchup, starting right now. All righty, your main event, the Rated R Superstar Edge taking on the one and only Ricochet. Ed starting things off with the attack on Ricochet. Oh, but Ricochet with the reversal punch to the gut. Both men locking up now. Ricochet with the strength. Picking Edge up, dropping him right on his face. And Ricochet. But Edge rolling out of the way. That moonsault. And dropping the knee right across the back of Ricochet. Smart move. Making sure, trying to make sure he can't, you know... Run around, do all the springboard stuff that Ricochet utilizes and taking him out at the legs. Again, good strategy here. And now headbutts, multiple headbutts to the head of Ricochet. And guys, what a night it was last night at Judgment Day. And oof. Edge just really taking it to Ricochet here. Ricochet rolls out of the way, though. And Ricochet, oh, oh, and a beautiful combination there from Ricochet, and again, missing the moonsault, though. N not able to get much offense in here tonight against the Rated R Superstar, the veteran in Edge, showing tonight. Oh, but Ricochet drops down, and German Suplex dropping Edge on that previously injured neck that put him out of business for nine years. And now Ricochet finally hitting that moonsault up to the top rope. What's he looking for here? Maybe thinking 540, but Edge up to his feet. And Ricochet dives anyways, hurts himself a little on the landing, but nonetheless, he knocked Edge down again. Ricochet starting to pick up some steam here. Oh, picking Edge up. Oh, beautiful maneuver. And now Ricochet... Dragging Edge to the center of the ring, looking for a pin. Is this enough to put him away? One, two, no, kick out a two 
by the rated R superstar. Now Edge back to his feet. Edge with the reversal. Edge stomping at the legs and the chest. And again going after the lower back of Ricochet. Oh, Ricochet with the reversal. Oh, the running neck breaker. And now Ricochet looking for 540. Oh my God, and he didn't quite get all of it. But he got some of it. Is that enough to put Edge away? One, two, no. And I guess he didn't get all of it. Realize he realizes that. And now what's he gonna what's he gonna do here? The people's moonsault. And now what's Ricochet looking for here? Calling for something from the outside of the ring. Edge back to his feet though. And Edge drop kicking Ricochet down to the floor. And now, ooh, looking for an elbow drop on the outside. Ricochet says no. Oh, Ricochet rolling out of the way, but Edge catches him with a headbutt anyways. These guys have got to get back in the ring. Count of two now. Headbutts again to Ricochet from the rated R superstar. Count of three now. Oh, what the hell's Ricochet going to do out here? Oh, my God. And just flattening Edge on the outside, knee to the face. And then, oh, but Edge, Edge moved that time. Count of five now. Six. Ricochet back in as well. Oh. Oh, and Edge moving right under him and again attacking that lower back. And for a second time, the knee right into the tailbone. Now what's Edge looking for? Ooh, a little glam slam action. Shades of his wife, Beth Phoenix. Now attacking the knee, the legs, the entire lower body of Ricochet. It doesn't seem to be doing much though. Of course he is the one and only, they call him that for a reason. Edge with the reversal though, elbows across the face. Edge with the running single leg drop kick. And now Edge with the headbutts again. Edge looking for execution and he gets it. Oh, calling for the spear from the corner. Oh, and Ricochet drops him with the DDT. Ricochet reversed the spear. Oh my God. And now up to the top rope. What's Ricochet gonna do from up there? Edge up to his feet. And now Edge dropping Ricochet right on his face. And again, repeatedly attacking the lower back. And again. And you see Ricochet grabbing at his back. Oh, looking for a knee to the head that time, but Ricochet rolled out of the way. And you see Edge favoring that knee. Edge with the reversal. And now the headbutts again. Edge focusing all of his attention on just dismantling Ricochet. And dropping him on his face again. Oof. Oh, Edge calling for something here. Are we gonna see it? Oh no, trying to fake him out with a super kick, but it didn't work. But Edge with a step up in Zaguri. And trying to drop the knee on the face again, and Ricochet rolls out of the way. Edge favoring the knee again. Ricochet with a big DDT. Oh, Edge. Kick to the head. Back to the corner. Is this enough to put Ricochet away? Spear! One, two, three. Edge 
picks up the victory over the one and only Ricochet here on the Raw after Judgment Day. And an impressive victory here tonight from Edge. But guys, let's talk about the matches you didn't get to see on Monday Night Raw. First up, we had Damian Priest World Title Open Challenge, who was answered by Joaquin Wilde of Legado Del Fantasma. Damian retained in basically a squash match, and Escobar and Mendoza left Joaquin in the ring by himself. Next up, we had Walter picking up the dominant victory over Slapjack. Then we had the Viking Raiders picking up a big victory over the other two members of Legado Del Fantasma, Santos Escobar and Raul Mendoza. Then we had John Morrison scheduled to take on Matt Riddle, but The Miz attacked John Morrison during his entrance. Then we had Finn Balor picking up a pretty big victory that he needed here tonight against King Nakamura. We had Lashley picking up a quick victory against Drew Gulak. And that's all for the matches you didn't get to see here on Monday Night Raw. Guys, this has been the Raw After Judgment Day. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Tyler will be with us again next week for Monday Night Raw. But guys, we just wanted to break character here at the end uh, and say that we really, really, both of us are sorry um, for the big gap in between Judgment Day coming out and this video coming out. Um, We've been trying to get together to record literally for like the last week, like almost every day since like last Monday or Tuesday. And just crazy stuff keeps popping up. Like my entire street was blocked off for like two or three days because they were cutting down trees in the neighbor's yard and just like just, you know, scheduling conflicts and all this other stuff. So we really do apologize. Uh, we're trying to get back on track here. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for understanding. We really appreciate your guys' support and we'll see you next time for SmackDown. Uh, that one I'll be doing solo as well, as Tyler said in his little video that we watched earlier. But Tyler will be back from his vacation next week. But until then, until next time, I should say, guys, have a phenomenal day.